In this video, I'm going to show you the great heel action of Byron Nelson and Gene Littler. They're playing Pine Valley uh, for Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. You know, they're playing just In this video, I'm going to show you the great heel action of Byron Nelson and Gene Littler. They're playing Pine Valley in New Jersey in Shell's Wonderful World of Golf, one of the stroke play events. So first on the tee here, this is second hole. This is Gene Littler. So first I'm going to run it full speed and just watch the swing and see what you see when you watch it full speed. Okay. First, kind of ended there, right? He's... Already followed through, he brought the club back. Look where his weight is. His weight is clearly on his left lead, left or lead heel. So most amateurs are, of course, uh, on the balls of their feet through impact, and pros are always on their heel or lateral arch, as you'll see in a second. So let's go slow-mo. Back it up. Here we go. Taking it away now. And let's go. Now look what happens here. You see how he moves his body back? Look how he moves his body back. And he's not even at impact yet, but you can see shadow under the sole of his right shoe and under the sole of his left shoe. At this point right now, his left leg is straight, his right leg is straight, and his rotational momentum is still bringing him further backwards. Let's watch a little further through impact. Look at this. Let me get right there. So he's well through the ball. He's well into follow through. And you can see that his right foot is still on the ground. Now, this is the way a lot of pro swing. I showed you uh, videos. Well, if you haven't seen them, you should watch them. Here, I'll show you real quick. Kevin Kisner through the ball. There's Kevin Kisner through the ball. Heels flat. Ernie L says his best ball striking when his right heel is flat at impact. Tony Fino swings from his heels. I did videos showing you pro golfers swing from their heels, amateurs swing from their toes. You can watch all these videos at the channel you're currently watching, The Amateur Golfer's Dilemma, and I've got links down below this video if you want to check out the book as well. So let's now look at follow through as we get through it ultimately. And come on, a little bit more. Hold on here. Go. So teaching pros want amateurs to get off of their right foot, and of course, trail foot, and of course that's true, but well after impact, or at least after impact. And you can see how the momentum that, that Littler's swing has, he clearly moves onto that left heel. Look at this. Look at how much weight is on his left heel. Look how straight his left leg is. Not that you have to do that. I can't do this. I'm just showing you the heel action. So Littler is a double heel swinger. Byron Nelson is just a lead heel swinger with really interesting right foot action through the ball. So let's get to Byron Nelson. There he is, getting ready to go. All right, here's Byron, full speed. Now, when everyone watches Byron Nelson swing, they always talk about that kind of like that kind of like dip he has through through the ball. That's what people. Uh, what is most noticeable about Byron Nelson's swing. They never talk about his foot action. Let's watch his foot action. So first what he's doing, he sees there, he backs up a little bit, he's backing up a little bit, he backs up a little bit, and now he's ready to go. Now for me, I'd have to have the ball out here because I can't rotate like these guys, and neither can you if you're watching the, the, these videos. So let's watch Byron's foot action. So you can see... Right here. So you can see that he already has his right heel off of the ground, and the club is not even, his hands and club are not even remotely near near impact. Very different than Littler. Both are fine. The key is to not be on the balls of both feet through impact with forward momentum. You can see he's already rotating. You can already see part of his left glute here. He's already rotating on that left heel hip axis. His left heel will even be further off the ball at impact. Let's watch that. There you go. So here's just before impact. You can see how much of the left heel you can see because because he's bearing weight, like the left heel, sorry, the left forefoot, the front of his, the sole of, 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 of his left shoe, the forefoot, you can start to see. 
because he's on that left heel hip axis. Just before impact, and then right at impact. So now, to understand, if you think about momentum, one might think that momentum is going this way with his right foot, but it's really not. He's going that way, and you know this because of what happens with his right foot. Look where his right foot goes as he's moving through the ball, which tells you the momentum direction that he's created. Nothing forward, all rotational to the left. Look at that. See that right heel move? Yeah, amazing. And how's he finish? just like they all do, bearing weight on the left heel. Now, if you watch uh, Jordan Spieth, he is way on the lateral arch. Uh, some are more lateral arch, some are more heel. It's highly variable. But very, very different ways that Littler and Nelson got onto their lead heel hip axis. I don't know the best way to get there for you. I know I'm working on it for me as I've showed you, as, as I've shown in previous videos. Here are two of the videos, lateral lunge driver drill, and then the lateral lunge driver drill again, and the squatting driver drill. These are the best ways that I know how to stay off of the balls of the feet through the swing. Uh, the best way that I, I think we can learn how to swing better from our heels is to actually hit little pitchy shots while balancing on the heels. I know that seems weird, but you got to give that a try, try too. But most important to get yourself off of the balls of your feet, I think, will be the lateral lunge driver drill and the squatting driver, driver drill, which I show in these videos and as well as describe in the book as well as other topics of interest in the book. So if you have an interest, check it out. Check out the book on, on Amazon. You can cruise through it and look at the different topics in the table of contents.